What? Oh my god! Oh my god, Jesus Christ. This is Shipwrecked 64. One of the most creative, but also confusing horror games I've ever played in my entire life. It's a story about a, a well, a game called Shipwrecked 64, the doi, that was pulled off shelves about three days after its release because of certain circumstances. It's basically an ARG where you kind of flip flop between in-game stuff and out of game stuff. For example, about halfway through the game, you arrive in this room with a monitor with a big red button beneath it and when you press the button it opens an entire manual in your web browser that you need to use throughout a big portion of the rest of the game. It is genuinely super creative but also terrifying. It genuinely has some really cool bits. Ramsker, the, the funny skeleton ram bone guy that beat me at bowling while I was in England recommended me to play it and I'm happy I did because it was genuinely a blast. So uh, I hope you enjoy watching me suffer trying to go through this game and uh, also like uh, m maybe subscribe you know uh, that, that would be cool welcome to shipwreck 64 2023 it was meant to release in 1997 but we was pulled after three days for reason I wasn't able to read that. We've been working on trying to restore this game. This is the closest possible thing to the finished copy. We we're able to transfer most of the game to a new software but has filled some gaps ourselves. Day one. Wow. Oh my god. Jump scare. Oh hi, listen, you gotta help me. I was out on the sea with my friends and I crashed my boat, it was awful. And my friends were all kidnapped. It was pretty bad. Yeah. But you can help, right? Here, let me show you how it works. All right, it's very, very quiet. Who are you? Hey Bucky, thank goodness you're okay. Listen, I'm in a tight situation here. We were sent to gather coconuts for rules. Pay off our debt for the crash. I'm not great at finding things though. If you can help, I'll be able to leave. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh, oh, it's a mini game? It's a mini game. Slap the otter. No, I'm sorry. Damn, this is a... Uh... This sure is a little mini game. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. It's a... Uh... Just slapping trees through our authentic N64 gameplay. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yay! Yay! I freed her? Perfect. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, 6 p.m. You truly are a hero. So we just have to save the little the little guys. No! Behind bars. What are you? Bunny! Get over here. Why are you missing an arm? I just realized. Is this like a is this like a cyber OC? What took you so damn long? It's a goose? I have to cook now? Okay. Okay, get in there, rodents. Don't call me a rodent, I'm a bear. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I'm gaming. I'm gaming. Yay! Cook the worst, most vile, disgusting, future dish I've ever laid my eyes upon. What a cool achievement. That's right there, my friends, is a good meal. Alright, see you at the beach. Alright, bye goose. Oh, hey! Hey! Bucky, thank goodness you're here. Bad weather wound you up here too. Mm, my bone wound up in a local dam. Just open the gates and we'll be good. That's one. There we go. Oh. That's it, right? Yay! Boat party, all on my own! No one else here but me. Opinion on boat. Hmm, very, very nice. Nice surface, nice texture. Solid eight. What are you, hey, excuse me, what? Free Walter's boat, did I do it? I did it? I knew I could count on you. All right, meet me at the beach. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. Oh? Which one should I do? Go to the rabbit. All right, I'll go to the rabbit. Hey, your friend. Been a while since I've seen anyone. Disarmed? Your arms got cut off? I just talked to her. I wanna draw her instead. Help me to draw, okay. Just keep my paint top top. Thank you, okay. Are you gonna draw with your blue? Anybody, you go gather some paint. 
No, get right the drawing. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are we here? Why are we painting here? Out of all the places. Stupid. Do I just wait here? Like, I feel like I have enough paint or ink, I should say. We're done. It's a slow burn, okay. Kino. Uh, hey, Ramsker. Why hit Stumbler? Because he's a piece of garbage. Don't Thank you, Bucky. Don't In the theater? Yeah, sure. Let's save first. It really made my day. Look at that. Isn't it? Isn't it a beauty? At the town hall. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hello? Pre brush crash, eh? I heard all about it. You know, I've got a secret. Barge? What's a barge? A whole bar somewhere here. Talk to Anna K. Pretty volcano. So I could escape or jump in a volcano. Why, why are we here? I, di I didn't agree to anything. Where did he go? Hello? Okay. Okay, hurry up. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, no! Oh my god! Ooh. Are you... Why? Might as well wait for my inevitable death. Goodbye. Well, I tried, okay? Bad ending. Shipwrecked. That was not the game. I refuse. Already getting credits. That's not the game. That's not it. Foco, you're the only person I know to get the bad ending. Well, screw the volcano. I mean, you guys saw that. That was complete out of garbo. So now I, I think uh, the other option is available. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Hello. Hi. The game would not work on any emulators, but after some tinkering, we built our own for this game. Two X devs helped us create this version of the game. Okay. This is how we found the game. Okay. Wow, it's the exact same. Um. I guess we do this thing first. <sighs> well, guys. Here we are again, slapping trees, getting coconuts. Abuse Olive. You guys just made me waste a bunch of time for no reason. Screw you guys. Do it again. All right, you know what? Fine. Screw you, Olive. Oh! We'll leave us, all of us, last phone call. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Start up at the door again. I don't know what to do. What is going on? Oh, what? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Hey, I saw that. I saw that on the side. Thick, what a, a thick trail stretch from the broken window. Oscar, Lima, India, Victor, India, Alpha. What the? Why? Where am I? Hello? Um. She got messed up. I think she's dead. Wait, what? Where's she? Oh, did I kill her? Or something like a flashback or something? A door is unlocked. Okay. So like this one right here. This one wasn't open, right? Key B Z F Q two Q P P N one. What is this? Welcome to the pool. The abuse doesn't stop. I know this code. Alright, keep that in mind as a key pet there. Hey, Oliver! Hey! 
I saw you. Don't hide from me. ECDC? Count the notes. If you can figure it out, look up a music That's sheet a for idea. hot cross buns or something. Thank you. Alright, that's useful. So E is three, six, or seven? I think it's seven. So it's three, seven, seven, seven. Three. I can't be stopped. Hello? <laughs> this smells atrocious. We should leave. We should save. You don't gotta walk back. You can open a menu and hit respawn. Can you please listen to me? My friends are in danger. Do you think it's a good time to explore this dump? Hit the respawn button. Use your damn head. Hey! I'm not that dumb. Should I leave, guys? I'll leave. I'm guessing I gotta fill the other minigames. What? Hey, what the? What are you? Why are you following me? That's creepy. Oh no. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. It actually got me. What? What? Oh god. Okay, get in there, rodents. Oh my god, I'm sorry! I didn't do anything! It's so hard to see what's going on. Is that like a body? On a stove? Yay! Coconut! Hey, that's uh, the rabbit's... One of the rabbit's paws. What is going on? Who are you? Who's this man? Is this place magnificent? Seriously, this art is beautiful. You know, I wouldn't say beautiful. Interesting sure is uh, a word you can use. Oh, okay, I see. The code is red, blue, blue, green. So red is an eight. This is a three. So blue, that's a... 100% blue 3. This is a 9, right? Green 9. So 8339. Okay. How about this one? Just type in 8. Okay. Oh, I'm here. Alright, so uh, we just have to do the walrus. So uh, uh, let's go do that. Okay, what is what is that disgusting noise? All right, walrus, please make this disgusting sound stop. I guess just get caught here, right? What the hell is happening? Oh my god! Goodbye. Yeah, I'm guessing something will happen now. Hey! Very spooky, ooh. Wow. I look beautiful. This is the worst mirror I've ever seen in any video game. Oh. <laughs> RxBC. It was six two two four. Paste button. Boop. Hey, hey, why? What are you doing? Hey, hey, I'm not controlling. I'm not controlling. I'm not walking. Bum bum bum. 
Oh god, okay. Alright, this where's the door there? Okay. Where the hell am I going? No, secret door? Alright, I've done all of them. What now? What now? Like I I'm I need some sort of code. Four nine two three, okay. Four nine two three. Alright, easy. Wanna go down there? Well, then feel free. Just be warned. Let's go down there. Playing hanged man? Stop. Stop now. No, I'm sprinting in. Let's go. None of this is making any sense. I wanna go back to the island. I wanna go back home. Is that not the boy you're playing? Look, we can do this, but whatever happens, that's on you. Am I clear? Good. It says, Look at that candle. Look at that base candle. It's just two PNGs. Oh, a light. Okay. I see. You pick up the candle. Press escape. Nothing is happening. Oh my god, what what is this? Alright, so uh, I wanted to explain this part for a bit because it's quite a lot of garbage that the game throws on your plate all at once. So uh, I really wanted to take a step back for a second and quickly explain it. When you press this button, a website on your internet browser opens called a helping knob. If you want, you can check the website out yourself by clicking the link in the description. This is not sponsored or anything, okay? This website is basically kind of a guide. So far, Shipwreck 6 has been pretty simple but after this the game goes absolutely hog wild this website is split into nine chapters about the authors is a short description who made this little guide and the answer is this stupid dumb blue little bunny if you remember where am i explains you where you are in the game at the moment candle is uh, pointless it just tells you what a candle does same goes for computer although the last line is important since it tells you to activate all the golden computers before before the timer hits zero, so uh, keep that in mind. The Dwellers tab talks about the creatures who live in layer three, who are basically the monsters donning the faces of the wholesome little friends that we helped before, if you remember, like uh, Olive. Like, imagine naming your child Olive. Like, I'm sorry to all my Olive fans out there, but it's a bad name. There's also a code here that you need to remember for later, so you can escape a prison cell. The Beaver Scratch tab talks about Beaver Scratch, which is a language used in layer three um you remember those jumbled up piles of text um yeah that, that's basically beaver scratch someone already made a website for this making it really easy to translate and i also ended up using this quite a lot cypher guide explains the ciphers we've been solving so far in the game which are gonna reoccur later on layer four explains even more puzzle garbo and uh what do i draw is a uh, stumbler saying that he has burnout i'm dealing with burnout creativity killer so I could draw at stumble. Let me send him an email, okay? See if anything gets wrong. Okay. I ended up sending him uh, this email and they did respond, but they uh, they didn't draw my funny little character. So uh, I'm sad. Again, um, the game dumps all of this garbage on your plate all at once. And honestly, it's quite a lot. So I wanted to explain for a second. So uh, yeah, but let, let's jump back into the video, all right? Let's finally really get spooked. Ooh. What does that say? Uh, b -b -b M J M F X S X P F J H Q S. I can't read the final part. P M F nine two eight one. So I'm guessing you have to put it in right here. Nine two eight. I think this should set three out of three now, right? Cool. What did that do? Oh, it opened this. Okay. Whoa. Well, one out of two gates. Oh yeah, you're right. There were two gates here before. What is this? What? Oh, it's... They just opened. Okay. Gary Wilson. Why is it out? Is it supposed to be cut off like that? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, I found the bottom of... I can't really read all of it. Oh my god, so fast. G. If only I could see the text. Yeah, okay. I see. So I can't really read any of this. 
Wow! Wow! Wow. This channel does have a bunch of more animations. We have Bucky animation test. So this is like a bunch of like development footage, I'm guessing. City song about when life was better. Very silly. Ah, yes. Life was better back then. Beautiful noise, the beautiful static in my in my ear. What's it called? Crash. <gasps> Glitch. He glitched. Where is he going? This is pretty cool. Why is it recommending me the cum theory? Get out of here. I don't want to watch a cum theory. Nothing behind there. That's just a creepy, creepy olive right there. In here. Oh god. <laughs> EFG9. <laughs> What is this song called again? I think I know the answer. What's this song called again? Ode to Joy. This one is good. So the code is EFG9. So how many E's, how many F's, how many G's, and then a 9 at the end, right? 9449. What do you mean, Stucco? I did it on my first attempt. Smart code. It's smart code right now. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm guessing you have to go in here. How would you get this code? Apparently there's been an issue with the chest spawning in. They just Just palm trees. Hard. Check the achievements. We okay. The palm tree the one. They're very far for sure. Oh! Dude, how are you ever supposed to guess that? 4742. 4742. Like how, what was the hint to go to the achievements? That's what I want to know. Oh, he's talking about the coconut level, right? Okay, I guess that's it. I see. Oh! I did it! Yay! I'm actually like kind of spooked. I do not like the look of this place. Oh my god. Are you really giving me a map like this? Plaza. Why is it like edited like this? <laughs> is this map what's it doing so where would i be right now this place right here oh okay yeah it tells me on the the computer <laughs> be good at the game backseat thanks you learned your lesson from last stream oh what oh my god oh my god jesus christ <laughs> me me oh my god dude i am not good when it comes to like not scary games but like jumpy games you know like fnaf oh let's print out email hey liz i saw your crystal video it's cool to see those in action those last four notes are kind of nostalgic to me Last four notes. I am very lost. Oh god, okay, I see it on the side. Dude, I wanna play like My Little Pony Adventure Island instead of this. Oh my god, come on! I didn't even have time to react! So I, I remember this code because I had to note it down. It's a note from Cogware. I guess I'm writing this more for. Do no relief. Peace of mind. Hard to say, really. All I know is this is gonna stick with me. Yeah, I remember the gate code. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Because I walk for like... I, I take five steps. And I poop my pants because I get scared by a funny walrus. Blue, red, blue, green. What am I supposed to do with it? I'm helping up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Oh, wait. Is it like... These are the, the things. So it is 3839? Is that the code? I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, God. Did you miss me? Color code again. Yeah, I see. With the oh, there's no like yellow or purple. There's a room somewhere that has colored number paintings in the middle of the plaza. 
And I'm pretty sure there was like a place called gallery. So this place. This is the gallery. So did you miss me? We're in four different colors, right? So it's yellow, purple, blue, green. This is the place. Four, six. Are the, the other two numbers from uh, the website from, from this place? So three, nine. Okay, that, that makes sense to me. Four, six, three, nine. Is that O'Hare on the monitor? Go away. Shoo, shoo, shoo it. Hello, we're not available now. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, cool. I was really able to do anything there. There was no barrel there. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Hey! Bye! Nothing to see here. Yeah! Here we go. I'm guessing this is the recorder. <laughs> Workstation code. Hello, future Stumbler. It's me, Has Stumbler. Oh, it's O'Hare. The code is 1997. The year what all went wrong. All right, toodles. You look great today, by the way. <laughs> 1997. This is like for a song, I'm guessing. The crystals are true. So D first. One, one, two, three, four, five Ds. Then E is a six and C is two. Five, six, two. I did it wrong. One less E. Okay. I'm, am I stupid? Five, five, two, five. I'm dumb. What do you mean in 10 minutes? What are, wait, guys, what's the code for that? It's 1997, 1997. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. I am not a fan of this. Dude, I am on the edge of my seat. No, I'm still missing one. There's one more, guys. Where's the final one? I have three minutes left. Like, I have a lot of time. Did I get the one in here? Was there even one here? No. Oh, oh, oh! 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 Oh my god! Need to relax. Okay. Let me check out the door when we're ready. Okay. Hey, when it comes to memorizing stuff, I'm usually pretty good in that. Oh my god. You did on your first try, pirate to do two times. That's why I'm better. All right, it's gonna like jump scare me. So now it's a uh, battery time, right? There will be one in the office, one in the rooftops and one in the cave. Okay. That's one. Can't sprint anymore though. Oh, oh, oh. come on, man. Hey. One in the cave. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, okay. I think the computer's done. Hello, friends. Um, God damn it. Um, I make a little folder on my desktop. Hey, Giovanni may be making his Oh god, okay. I remember this. Oh god, there's what is this? Hey! So it are these the devs and they're like sucked into the game or something? Nathan. Okay, cool. I final Walter shirt, Walter text. You showed up at the door again. I, I don't know what to do. There's something about us and there's just felt wrong. Spooky. All right, so I got this. What do I, I don't know what to do with it. Do I just leave? Does it go to the exit? I'm just try leaving. I'm just gonna try leave. Dev area. There's a, a lot here to do though. It's a note from Cogware. Skyboxes aren't just for walls though. 
They can be applied to any object. For instance, view the water shapes. Once again, it's not real water, just a skybox. Huh. It's actually kind of a trippy effect. I'm a little confused, but it seems I'm going the right way. Final stop, welcome to our hub. There's nothing here. Next to the booth will be instruction list. Complete that list and you will end the demo. The demo? I am quite lost. I need a code for that. Okay. Being confused and walking is peak horror. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Right, how do I get the code? I can go further down. Hazy Mason looking ass cave. That looks unfinished. Oh, you're back? Okay. Okay. There's nothing here. Guessing that was supposed to happen? Oh, what the? There's a hidden wall. Yeah, I mean, I just found it. It's on accident. I can't look in them. I guess it's a code. Green, blue, green, purple. So green. No, green is nine. Green is nine. Three is blue. And purple is six. I'm guessing that's the, the code to get out of the cell. Okay. What is this? Time codes to another video. I'm just gonna note them down then. Is there supposed to be a button in this room? Yeah, click where the button would be. That's what I was thinking. That would be here. Alright, I clicked it. Alright. Oh, there she is. Oliva? Oliver? What am I supposed to do? Okay. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Oh my god. Hey, Oliver. Why are you just sitting in the corner there? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not here. I'm not here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Shoo. Shoo. That was too close. That was very close. I need to find a map, but I'm not sure where to look. Go left. Oh. The sewer map. Okay. Provided by Stumbo Hair. Thank Stumbo Hair. It's like a barrel at the door right here. And then this one. I don't see a button on this one, but it's like on top of a barrel that's near a door. I've been. I was here. Oh, wait. No, okay. That's the elevator. Don't be fooled. It's a hidden door there. Ah. That's where one of the buttons is. All right, cool, 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 cool. Okay, just one button left. Come on, why? Why are you coming this way? Why is he here? There's a door right there. Bucky. He's camping, he's, he really is. Oh, he disappeared, okay. Oh God, okay. Cool. Um. I got my Game Boy though. I have to find one more button. He was waiting for you at the door. I should have saw it coming, honestly. Hey, that's me. I just realized that's me. Yeah, shoo, shoo, go away. Stop, stop tweaking. Why is she, why is she doing that? Wait, this, this is it, this is it, this is it. This is the place. Oh God, gate, I pressed the button. So a gate opens? <laughs> Check the control room for a massive <laughs> surprise. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Scary. 
Codebreaker. All right, sorry for another intervention, but I really wanted to explain this part because uh, if I don't, some of you are going to be super confused and get mad at me in the comments, which I'm not looking forward to. When you press this button, a page in your web browser opens called Codebreaker with a cryptic code underneath it. When you press the Codebreaker text itself, it also makes you download a 349 megabyte file, which is a completely new game disguised as a demo for Shipwreck 64. So what ends up happening is that you flip flop from main game and demo continuously. So just to make sure people don't get confused, I'll pop a bit of text in the corner when I'm playing the downloaded demo wannabe. Like I'm telling you man, this game does some really wacky stuff and uh, I really like it. So uh, watch me get even more confused. What? Game inside of a game. Okay, well... <laughs> what is going on, man? Where the hell am I? I'm supposed to do it like this, so I'd hear the... Okay, I did it. Okay, hello. What is this? This is very, very wacky. Oh, that's, that's a human. It's Paul. A283-2781. Get out of here. I can't really do anything at the moment because this annoying asshole sitting in a corner glitching his head through the ceiling. He's camping very, very hard. So, green, red, green, red. Oh. Green, red, green, red. Eight. All right, awesome. You found it. All right, so now I'm really lost. I have no idea what to put in. Can this guy go away? Go back to the elevator. I wanna, trust me. Just grab me. Yay! Only real ones will get that reference. There we go. Going up. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I get 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 it. Right, 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 right. Yay! Show me the show me the prize, baby. Come on. Okay, one. Doors, computers, tables, lamps. So four lamps, three tables, six PCs, two doors, two, six, three, four. What do I do with it? 1995. Green, green, red, red. Okay, let's go. Oh, hair. First cartoon Ladies blot. Everyone, put your hands together and make some noise for the one, the only. Nineteen seventeen. Is that the code? That's an I. Long ago, before many of us were born, a man named Rex was brought into the world. Born into a family that was relatively poor. He always strived to create. It was always his dream to become an artist. But up until the 1940s, his cartoons, both animated pictures and comics, had gone entirely under the radar. It was around then, though, that his first picture, Blot, took off. It was about a rabbit that Rex drew, 
which then proceeded to leap off the page, utilizing real photographs of Rex's room, and with Rex himself being a character in the short, a foil to the lack of protagonist, as folks were interested in the stunning mix of real life and animation. Rex would produce more films of the same nature, until eventually, he was approached by a company who offered him the deal of a lifetime. Little did he know, this deal led to him selling off his character, as he was so quick to sign on, he didn't read very heavily into what he was signing into. To remedy this, he began to work on a replacement, and that is when Bucky Beaver and his friends were born. The popularity of Bucky not only went on to... Goodbye, Bucky. It's 1917, Ray. Right? Come on, I pressed E! I pressed E! I spammed it! Not fair. Oh, who's there? Go away! Shoo! Fish! Fish on the floor! March 12, 1960. So it's a Dr. Seuss song. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. One nine, one nine eight three. Oh, okay, I see, so. So it's one two eight three. One two eight three, one two eight three. Go away. Goodbye. Um, why didn't it open? Oh. Okay. Okay, I pressed it, I pressed it, I pressed it, I pressed it, I pressed it. Alright. I recognize this place. <laughs> This is a red tunnel. This game so far has been really something. It's uh, complicated, that's for sure. It's a heart? Okay. Oh, hey. Ah, uh, yes, a new, um, new apartment. Whoa. Congratulations on reaching the end of our demo. We're happy to see you're engaging with our work, but we're showing this to you for one reason. As a reward for seeing all the Cogwares capabilities, everyone, I'd like to introduce you all to an exciting game set to release in 1997. And now present... Ship correct, 64. What? <laughs> what? Looks bizarre, but then I saw it move. What the hell? It's you. I thought I was the only one rotting down here. How much you touch. So much. They call beyond you understand it. They call out to me. All four of them. I hear their voices skittering oh around God. the inside of my wooden shell, even down to the pulsating mass weighing beneath it. I need you to find me. It won't be easy to catch. You'll need to prove to me that you want what I have. If you do as I ask, oh. you'll know everything. Every single detail of what happened. Why you are who you are. What do you say, friend? Let's give it a go. What the hell? Find me. Hey. 
three. What am I collecting? That was, that was the same character we saw on top of the building. On my tippy toes. My guy getting a free dub. <laughs> Two more, two more, two more. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, okay. Okay, I think I got really lucky there. Let's take a look at the little mess you've made. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been playing this for about two hours now, and I'm not seeing the widespread appeal you've been promising us. It's, well, to be honest with you, it's clunky. I don't know what I'm doing. The characters who you promised would have depth and life, they are just flat. I thought that's the entire point of a 3D game. What? You oversold it, Connor. That's what I'm trying to say. A company is meant to be forging new frontiers, and to be frank, after what happened at Studio Grounds, I really don't think this is gonna be anything. It's not gonna be anything in the same tier as our movies, our park, anything. And I really hate to say this, because I know for a fact you and your team put a lot of work into this game, but I just, I just don't know if it's worth continuing to sink money into. Sink money into? Mark, this is our job. You've had us working on this for two years, and now suddenly it's an issue? Yes, it's been two years. And in those two years, you've only sat me down now and showed me the actual fucking game. So... What can we do to fix it? No, Liz. This isn't a fix the game issue. It's a fix your perspective issue, Mark. You are sitting in front of some of the greatest technology of the decade, and you're gonna brush it off? Connor, I'm not brushing anything off. I'm just trying to understand where this- I'm sorry to say, Mark, but it's true. It's not that we've made a bad game. We've all exceeded the industry standard. What we're having a hard time passing is your thick skull and- Connor, stop. Look, I'm so sorry about him. He's just under a lot of- Is it Harley? Is it not worth it anymore because you're trying to treat her instead? What? Yeah, I said it. Wh what are you bringing her into this for? Because I bet that's what you're gonna do. You can't keep funding our two years worth of work. Gotta buy her a fancy casket. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mark, look, I- I'm really sorry. Now, Liz, you're fine, okay? But I want you to know that we are done, professionally. All right? I don't want to walk with any of you guys again. Quite frankly, I don't want to see you guys touch our property. Any of that. Am I clear? Yes, Mark. Oh. You can go now. No, because first of all, I want our equipment back. You can go now! You can go! Leave! Take a step closer. Lay a fucking hand on me. You lay one hand on me, I'm gonna make sure you stay in jail for a real long fucking time. Who are they gonna believe, you? You are nothing. I will be taking my leave now. Good luck in your future endeavors. I expect the office to be cleared by next week. Do not contact me again. Damn. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, he said. It's a lovely day today. I could use some fresh air. Please just do it. What? Goodbye, Bucky Beaver. Thank you, Mark. Oh, full screen, no way. Taking his own life, damn. Shipwrecked was removed from stores and for nearly two decades has been missing. Okay. And you aren't among the first to see what's inside of it. In honor of Connor Thomas. 
You are always there for us as a dad, as a boss. I would not be anywhere without you today. And I've missed you. I never stopped missing you since the day we lost you. We hope that bringing your work back out is a good way to pay tribute. We miss you, Connor. Patrick Thomas, so like his brother or son. Thank you for playing. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs>